it's me again, Sarah from Mother Birth Blog, and I am continuing on this video about pregnancy nutrition. This particular one is specific to vitamins and minerals. These are a little bit more complex and um, require um, tiny, itty bitty little amounts that are found in everything that we eat. Um, some things they are not in, like highly processed foods. But um, what I'm going to give you is an overview of some of the micronutrients, vitamins and minerals needed in what daily amount and some good sources um, to find them in, some food sources. I'm also going to tell you their function a little bit. So I have these notes I'm going to be reading from a little bit because it's a lot of information and I don't have it all on the top of my head yet. So the first thing I'm going to bring up is essential fatty acids, EFAs. Uh, you may have heard a lot about them you know, through media or there's been a lot of marketing for them because they're found to be really, really important. Um, they're uh, important for brain and nervous system development and functioning the immune system functioning and um, you can imagine that those are pretty important as the baby is developing and growing as this little fetus its brain is a big part of its body and its head is usually much larger uh, proportionately than the rest of its body up until near term and even when they're born they got big little heads um, compared to their bodies so we need to feed those brains and their nervous system uh, good sources of essential fatty acids are flax seed oil, hemp oil, hemp seeds, sea vegetables, seaweeds, um, like kelp or noris or dulse, um, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds. And um, there's a proper balance proportion between omega-3 and omega-6, so if you can um, eat them in the food form, then that is probably best for you. Uh, another really important one is calcium. Um, calcium is for the development of bones, teeth, and blood expansion for mom and baby. Um, good sources of calcium are leafy, um, green leafy vegetables, broccoli, collards, kale, turnips, uh, romaine lettuce, carrots, legumes, um, sesame seed butter, sunflower seeds. Sesame seeds are awesome. I love that as my source of calcium. Pumpkin seeds, almonds, and filberts. So a good daily dosage of calcium would be 1200 milligrams. And um, that's a healthy average. Another one, as I mentioned in the last video, is iron. Um, about 30 to 60 grams a day. That might be a lot for some. Um, you may need less depending on where you're at nutritionally. Iron it helps um, develop fetal red blood cells, really important, and it also helps um, maternal blood growth and expansion. It also helps with fetal white blood cells and is important for moms who need to, you know, double almost their blood volume or by 50% they increase their blood volume. So that's quite a big task and it has to occur by around 30, 35 weeks and it starts to level out the expansion at that point. Um, so iron. And zinc is another one. Zinc is really great. You need it about 20 milligrams a day. Um, whole grains, mushrooms, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, green leafy vegetables, miso, bee pollen, tofu, and brewer's yeast. These are really, really great sources of zinc, and it assists in the fetal thymus, um, development of the fetal thymus, which is, you can imagine, kind of important for um, metabolism as they um, come out of the womb and are drinking breast milk and food later in life. Copper, beans and sprouts, um, that supports and helps build the immune system and brain development. I actually think I'll just attach this instead of make a video out of it because there are so many. I'll, I'll go over um, the rest of these. Iodine, sea salt, sea veggies, really great. It's important for um, function of the thyroid gland, and um, which is responsible for metabolism, growth, and mental balance. Manganese, grain seeds, nuts, 
Brew is yeast again. It helps prevent birth defects. Um, let's see. Selenium protects the immune system. Chromium regulates blood sugar. Uh, vitamin A uh, are yellow and orange veggies. Dark green leafy um, vegetables. Uh, alfalfa sprouts, tomato, spirulina, chlorella. This helps metabolize the EFAs that I talked about earlier. Um, it also helps with vision, it helps with the immune system, with the skin and mucous membranes development and protection and maintenance.